Hello, and welcome to MTG Studios. I'm Maria. Today I'm going to challenge you a bit with a watercolor tutorial that features the dry brush technique and the artwork of John James Audubon. John James Audubon was an American artist and his largest, most important body of work was called The Birds of America. So we're going to focus today on one of those birds, the brown pelican. And we're going to learn how to draw the pelican, paint the pelican in the style of John James Audubon. We will be using a lot of dry brush technique with this particular painting. So the first thing I want you to do is check out the link in the notes below. Go to the Audubon Society's link I've posted there. Download the image of the brown pelican so you can follow along at home. Then gather all your supplies because it's time for art. This is the painting of the brown pelican by John James Audubon, and we're going to use this as our reference to create a painting of our own using two basic watercolor techniques, the dry brush technique and washes, light washes. But before we even get into the actual painting, we need to do some drawing. I always like to say, if you can't draw it, you can't paint it. So let's get practicing with some of the drawing. And as you can see from some of my examples here, I had the fortunate experience to visit a wildlife refuge. Uh, and there were many pelicans, brown pelicans, there at the refuge. So I was able to draw them directly from life. And you can see in my sketch here, uh, I've drawn one that was flapping its wings. And then I drew one that was very similar to our reference today. So you want to practice your drawing skills first. We want to look at basic forms. So for this particular example, we want to look at the basic form of the body, the head, the beak, do you see this large S shape that curves down this way? So that's what we want to start with. I like to think of the head as kind of an ice cream cone. It's this nice circle with this nice cone underneath. And if we measure proportion-wise the beak to the body, the beak to the top of the head is almost the same length as the body. So the body is going to be a little bit longer. We also want to look at the proportions of the webbed feet as they relate to the head. They're almost the same size as the head, just a little bit smaller. And they're kind of triangular shaped. So when I sketch, I like to sketch the basic forms and that nice S curve in there, little triangles there, and then start fleshing it out and pulling out the lines that I'm going to use. Once I'm comfortable with drawing, I can redraw that onto my good copy watercolor paper as I've done here. What we want to begin with is something called a wash. There's lots of dry brush technique to add the detail here, but underneath there are basic washes of color. An area of yellow, brown, light brown, brownish gray. So we want to lay those in first, let them dry at least two to three hours, maybe a whole day, and then come back and put our dry brush over top. So if you're ready, let's get started.
Well, I hope today's tutorial wasn't too terribly challenging or frustrating for you. And if it was, it's okay, because I always say good art takes time. And the only way to get better at any of these techniques that I'm showing you is to practice, 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 practice. We don't get perfect, but we do get better. So keep practicing and keep on making time for art. If you liked today's video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also check out the links in my about page and check out my website, follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And thanks so much for watching. And we're going to learn a little bit about this technique from the artist James, James John, John James. How do you say your name? Coffee's good. <sighs> Our featured artist is John James Audubon.